maximize. Call the meeting to order, Lisa. As required by the Open Public Meetings Act of 1975, adequate notices meeting was provided on January 13th, 2022 by publication of the Express Times and Hunter County Democrat and both the notice meetings will be running on the same day. Mayor Barson? Here. Mr. Baylor? It is excused. Mr. Bean? Here. Mr. Kenyuk? Here. Mr. McDermott? Here. Mr. Lavery? Here. Mr. Finnelli? Here. Okay. Please stand for the flag, I you doing good to see us? Yes. <laughs> the regional fans. Yeah. <laughs> They're just keeping us alive. Uh, I know. <laughs> I used to stand for one gentleman that came every year and questioned the funders. Oh, it's a good thing. I am very sure. He's a nice guy. Man. Yeah, yeah. I'll see what you used to see with Bill. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking for a motion to approve the meeting minutes from uh, the regular meeting September 15th and the special meeting October 6th. Anybody want to make a motion? I'll make that motion. Anybody want a second? Second. Anybody have any comments, questions, deletions, corrections? Roll call. Mayor Barton? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Tanner? Yes. Yes. Mr. Tanner? Yes. I'll make a motion to accept the treasurer's report and the interim bill list from uh, October 12, 2022, and the October bills list. Anybody want a second? I'm second. Anybody have any questions? Want to pull any items? No pulling, but Shannon, I did uh, um, um, post a couple of things because I don't know your code uh, about where certain, because they all seem to have mm -hmm. the same code, mm -hmm. but land use board stuff. But I wanted to make sure the got pulled from the right escrows. Okay. It probably did, but we I'll check it. Just That's all put your I, notes on the they they're they're on in the mayor's the, envelope. The, but yes. Yeah, the it. ones that I signed they were because it was uh, target and bolus and Bol yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted to make sure because yep. you only had I'm guessing it's the land use number. Yeah, and then so when the check prints, they actually have their own code that I have to okay. really well, write. I just wanted to to double check okay. that. That's all. Got it. Anybody else? Roll call. Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kenner? Yes. Yes, Mr. Yeah. I'm looking for a motion to accept the tax collector's tax and sewer reports for September 2023. Anybody want to make that motion? I'll make the motion. Anybody want a second? Well, I'll second. second. Any questions, comments? Anybody? Okay, roll call. Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kenner? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. DPW, Joe, you. Just want to submit what you have, or you have anything you want to add to your uh, report? No, there's really nothing really to add. What I have uh, submitted, you can find. I have a question. Sure. Date break signs on 173. Did you put them up? Which ones? The date break signs. No yes. You put them up? Yes. State let us do it. We just did it. We, yep, we did it. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll be asking next question. Well, no. <laughs> I, I, they're pretty. This is, my, this is my thing about it. There shouldn't be trucks on there. Exactly. So it almost looks like we're right. saying, oh, well, if you are going to sneak through, at least don't use your Jake brakes. <laughs> if if we're going to do it, I'd rather sneak no truck signs there. <laughs> well, we're I, they're we're to coming. come. Huh? They're to come. Okay. That's uh, another comment. Uh, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I just, when I saw them, I just thought like, it's almost like an invitation. Somebody actually did bring that up. And I just said, look, I, I said, this battle is a challenge. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to help some folks out right now. Okay. Oh, oh okay. And then also on Warren Glen Road, no trucks? Well, actually, well, if we want to take two minutes out, I'll talk about that. I was talking with the county engineer. Well, I'm going to bring it up on our new business. Okay. okay. So let's do All right. new business. Okay. Anything else? No, I'm sorry. No, that's it. Okay. Uh, Lisa? Uh, I gave you a list of uh, some potential action items based on the stuff that I included in my report. But yeah. if anybody has any questions. I'm going to do that all our new business stuff. That's fine. Okay? Yep. If nobody has any questions, then I have nothing else. Uh, at least I do. Uh, Mike, any update on uh, NJDEP on the uh, on those resolutions, that second item on here? Did, did, are we... So my last correspondence to them was asking them if there was nothing they could do to sort of strong arm Aqua into releasing our one person and letting them connect with the Franklin project as a cost savings to the taxpayers. And uh, DEP agrees and they're going to try again. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I do have somebody reviewing that in okay. my office. So. Got it. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I'll hold the police report. Well, well, I'll make a motion that we accept the consent agenda for the police department report, DPW, county clerk's report, zoning and code enforcement report, court report, and ACO report. Uh, all of them for September 2022. And when if the chief comes or when he arrives, I'll allow him to speak if he has anything to add. So, uh, with that, if you want to second that, we'll second. Any questions, comments? No. Roll call. Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. Committee reports. Paul, you have anything? Uh, no, I don't. I have something for the, um, a storage committee. Okay. I, I'm not really sure what made them do this, but they came up with some ideas of what they want for um, when they put a bench for someone or want to put a bench out. For mm -hmm. someone. When Jake wanted to take one and pass it down, um, this is what they want to make as their requirements of who they decide um, would get one. Didn't we say at a past meeting that they can't put as many, like they can't just put three out in one year? Or did we put a limit to that? I thought we, I, I, yeah, we did I talk about it. Yeah, we've had to limit it and stuff. I don't know if we, we actually codified anything or did an ordinance or. That's probably why they're doing this. To... I think we asked them for some suggestions mm -hmm. before we did it. Correct. Okay, here's two suggestions. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I told them about the um, new Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Paul, I told them about the benches. They looked at that. They said, thank you for taking care of the benches, Joe. Um, they're also still asking about the parking spaces. I let them know Joe was working on that. And then there's something else that they wanted to talk about that I'd like to discuss in closed session. Okay. So that was it with them. Okay. Thanks. Uh, school board, uh, they hired a uh, superintendent that's going to start on the 12th of December, Tina Neely. And if you would like to maybe, uh, Vicki, you know, tell us a little bit about her. Uh, she has a very strong background in uh, special education. She will be serving as the director of special services as well as a superintendent. She's coming from Branchburg. She's a uh, She's been in that field for numerous years, and everybody that we spoke with had nothing but great things to say about her in terms of how thorough she is and how she challenges not only them, but herself as well. She's uh, started many uh, initiatives that have been pilot programs for other districts. Uh, she's gonna come in December, so she has a couple of weeks to work with Dr. Yeah. Brennan to transition into the position. And then in January, she'll be on her own. Yeah, I think she has seven or eight years with Branchburg and 20 years with South Brunswick. And Branchburg, like and our South school South district, Valley. is at K-8. So. Right, Branchburg is very similar. So, so it looks like a real good fit. What, what, what is yeah. her name again? Tina, Tina Neely. Neely. Tina and Neely. she will also going to have, at some point, uh, a meet, some type of meet and greet meet and for you know, parents. And uh, you know, community members can come out and you know meet her and get to know her as well. We don't have a date for that yet. Okay, sounds great. And that's that's all I have. Yeah. Chief, we already accepted your monthly report. Did you have anything you want to add to it? There were no questions or anything from anybody up here for everything you had to discuss as an executive now? Yes. Okay. Nothing. Okay, good. Anybody else have any more committee reports or anything? Mike, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Open space. Okay. Uh, in your packet, there is. Do we have a? Uh, is there going to be a motion to adopt the? Uh, uh they're on the agenda on? for uh, 8H and I. Eight eight. Okay. Eight H. All right. I'll bring that up then under 8H. Thanks. That's it. Okay. Mike, what? Okay. Um. Rick Line Hill Road project uh, slated to be paved uh, uh, next week, the week after, so that'll be wrapped up. And again, should be right on budget, if not below. Um, and I think this may go with, with H and I that you were just talking about, Bill. Um, 
with the SRTS. Um, and of course, the, the the letter we got from Dominguez or the email we got from Dominguez uh, about, about the property. So I'm not sure where, where that's heading. Well, and maybe, that grown in all, like in the state center slayer, if you're interested in farmland preservation there, yep. that, which is going to screw that probably all up for it. Well, no. no. As a matter of fact, that would be. Maybe that would there. potentially help us. So in other words, they, they don't make... want us to do the deal with them. They want to wait until it's done, and then they would deal with us. Like, that's no. how I'm reading it. No. This path, <laughs> and I know there's some di other discussions about the, the path in general with right. the school. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, everybody's got to be on board with wanting to make the whole the connection. Um, uh, they would take, and, it, and he also wants a, a lot. Uh, it's what's called an exception taken out of the preservation area. Mm -hmm. So there would be the lot um, on the on the property, future building lot, and our easement, our path. So they would come out of obviously the money that he's going to get for preservation. You know, and where uh, I'm not sure where the county is on this and so forth. So, okay. so but. I guess until that plays itself out, we're going to just. Okay. I was worried that we were going to throw a whammy in. No, no, no. I think I actually said the state well, will not enter any agreements as long as there's a, you know, ongoing discussions. For <laughs> no, I think, in fact, the, the sketch that they, they attached showed both the the one, I think it's a one acre lot, okay. and then our path. So we'll see where, where that heads. Um, I mentioned this last month for the first time that flood damage prevention ordinance, which we need to uh, we will modify it. We'll we'll green winch eyes it, send it down for approval if it gets approved, which I'm sure it will. It's a you know it's a model ordinance. Uh, then we're going to have to adopt it first thing next year because it's got to be adopted by February 15th. So we're going to have to do a, an intro in January, and then the second reading in February. So that's that. And lastly. Um, coincidentally, today I had a, um, it's not a pre, it wasn't a pre-con meeting, but a meeting with Comcast reps regarding their, the product, the potential of, of Comcast coming into Greenwich. Um, at, so at one point when I called Mike and we, he got on the call with us, um, so, I mean, they're, they're obviously, uh, committed to uh serving the town they're going to start with uh, the business the businesses and get service to them first and then it would go to obviously the the rest of us and <laughs> the residents so uh again that's that's not happening you know anytime soon but uh that they did they reached out for me earlier in the week and so forth so I wanted to keep you updated on that and that's, well, that's all I got. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't we rescind the uh, yeah. permission? <laughs> that's what I did. Yes. All right. Well, and I can right. fill you in a little bit more in executive. Yeah. Okay. So they're not, they don't have permission to move ahead with anything. So, okay. right. Okay. And plus the correspondence we got from the state where there's well, names missing, people aren't working for them anymore. And yeah, now they that's on the application to the state. Yeah. That's their, their cable franchise agreement. And then I, like I said, I'll explain a little more. That what they're looking to do with the right of way is provide high speed internet access to businesses, as Mr. Baylor had said at the last meeting. And then I think the big concern was digging up in the neighborhoods that have underground utilities. So I think and they, we, we spoke about that much, at, but, at some length, actually. Yeah. So yeah. I can let you know about my conversation with Ron Clinton. But yeah, their their application for they got to get that straightened out first before we even start talking to them about the ordinance. Right. But the right away agreement is what they want to get underway because they want to provide this high speed internet service. So I have some ideas about that. We'll talk about an executive. Yeah. Okay. Not anybody else, right? So, no, no. Michael, I got one question. Sure. The, the, nope. the property that Dominguez wants to put in the preservation and stuff like that, though, mm -hmm. isn't that a fairly lengthy process? You know, and the county yep, sure. can pick and choose throughout the entire county the merits of everybody who wants to put something in preservation and they'll pick and choose what oh it's it's competitive in that respect yeah, right, yeah, right right absolutely. No, right absolutely so there's i mean it could be four five six years down the road it could be 
It could the, be. The, okay. the wheels yep. turn very, very slowly. slowly. No, oh, I, I, oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 okay. But obviously there's there's interest at the state level. <laughs> right. Uh, so <clears throat> what that means, okay. and I, I wish I knew. So, oh, well, and that's all I got. That's it for everybody. Mm -hmm. All business seven A is taken off because Brian said he'd discuss it next month when he's here. Anybody else have anything on their old business that they wanted to re revisit? Um, yeah, let's talk real quick. Um, and what re jogged my memory was seeing the application for the needle cast on the trade. I've dropped the ball on it completely. Forgot, but and we can certainly move forward with it. But should we be? Getting a, a Norway spruce in there for this year's Christmas? Um, the Christmas tree? Yeah. Well, we've been doing a fertilizer program on the existing one. If we're going to do it, the, my question was, and as I had a conversation with William, we should think about moving it further into the park if we're going to do it. We keep forgetting. I'm, I'm just wondering if the downfall of this tree is because the roots are trying to go under that pavilion also. They don't it's very that. close to the corner. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I don't personally think the disease that's bothering you has anything yeah. to do with that. But if we want to get another one started, then yeah. and see how this one Maybe goes. put a second I, one I, in there, right, down I, in the park a little bit, since where it's not being used as a little little tee ball field anymore. They're using the right. for that. Move it, move <laughs> it away, fifty. 75 feet away we can put extension cords out there for the lights when we light it and stuff for the all right because i mean normally when they have their christmas tree lighting and everything they certainly use the old pavilion and such yeah not well, going to be too right far away the pavilion, the, you know but yeah. get okay. it a little further away all right because i mean i do genuinely think this one that's existing we're always going to be able to treat the new growth but the old growth's never going to return yeah. so i think in the long term it's doomed but if we want to relocate it to a better spot that is more accommodating. Sure. But do we want to move forward with that? Sure. We can get a tree for it. All right. Let's because get it in. it's still a good time to plant evergreens right now. So it's not a problem. All right. So in between our few moments over the next couple of days, <laughs> we'll have to have another conversation as to where the best place is to, sure. to get one. All right. Thank you. New business. I uh, know. Yeah. New business. Resolution 82. I think we can do it. We got two, five. Okay. Looking for a motion to adopt the resolution 82.2, resolution combining the bonds aggregating uh, principal sum of $7,849,000 authorized by four bond ordinances. Mm -hmm. ordinances. Resolution 82.22, approve the helix appraisal for block 40, lot one. Which is that's for the uh, store right away for the affordable housing, correct? That's that's the slack that's lot. lot. Okay. Oh, what, so what it's, it's down. It's directly below the Petrucci lot. Right. And it's where the drainage easement. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The yep. Okay. It's all related to the. Yep. Housing. Yep. Exactly. Resolution eighty four twenty two, uh, amending the budget for the insertion of. Money received for the 2022 Clean Communities Grant. Resolution 8522, insertion of special item for revenue for the ARP funds. And Resolution 8622, insertion of special item of revenue for the State Body Armor Grant, which is basically money coming into the township, and that's the legal mechanism to get it in for the budget. That's what those three or four uh, your grants that we got. Obviously, for body armor and the rescue play, uh, act and uh, stuff. So, anyway, uh, anyone want to make the motion to adopt those five resolutions? I'll make that motion. We want to second. I'll second it. Anybody have any questions, comments on those? No. Roll call. Mayor Barson? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Finnick? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. Looking for a motion to introduce ordinance number 108 2022, an ordinance providing funding for acquisition of two trucks for the Department of Public Works and appropriating $290,000 for such purpose. Anybody want to make that motion? I'd like to ask a question. Sure. We ask the question after. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I'll make the motion. Okay. Anybody want a second? I'll second it. Okay. Questions, comments? Um, <clears throat> I was thinking that we hold one truck. 
until next year since the prices have gone up so much when I reviewed this is that not correct? I mean if it takes a while to get it otherwise where are we going to get the funds to cover two if we put into the budget for one didn't anyone look at the budget? Yeah, Paul has an answer well, well I did with Joe could probably be a tad bit more in depth but <laughs> The bottom line is the trucks aren't going to come down in price. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the further delay, the year. further delay is only going to make it more expensive. We actually have money to cover the cost of these trucks. Uh, some of the refurbishing on the sweeper is just going to have to wait. Um, and one truck, believe it or not, because we're actually buying two smaller trucks to replace one big truck, and they're both got different purposes. Um, so if we scaled it back to one truck, we're then going to keep a, a very old and vulnerable truck in the rotation. And that is certainly risky. And mm. the cost on the second truck is only going to escalate even more. Um, so I think we just bite the bullet at this stage of the game. Uh, the That's DPW is going to be set in, in trucks for a, a pretty good stretch, you know, um, and we're taking more just for the rescue plan money, basically, right? Is that yeah, I mean, there was some money that came that from the rescue plan, plan right? For, uh, the bonding of the yes, the right, exactly. I, yeah, I mean, we're actually taking the balance. We needed more of the rescue plan for the bond, so we actually have to take the balance of the trucks from the capital. Capital, but it, it yeah. turned what was it, like forty thousand. I I don't want to make light of forty thousand, but wasn't it somewhere in and around that number? I think it was. 70. 70 okay I, I mean it was a significant difference but we had the money in the budget to cover it regardless okay but some of the most of the funds came from the rescue plan okay right. and again like i said no i agree two for yeah. one and they both are serving a purpose and you're going to keep an old one as a primary in the winter and that may not be in our best interest okay. and i'll be the first to tell you money's tight and funds are tight but the road departments, we've really brought them, you know, into the 2020s over the last five, six years with some of the equipment that's been purchased all the way back from the loader, back of trucks and miscellaneous. I mean, we can talk a pickup truck or two that they could probably use, but at this stage of the game, they have enough to keep the town in pretty good shape for an extended period of time. The second truck's going to take some of the work off from the pickup truck. From the pickup just, trucks, right. Just uh, to revert back a little bit. 2017, if you remember, we had a gold 2000 Ford pickup truck that never got replaced. That used to plow this parking lot in a few of the alleys. So our pickup truck now that is a primary in Greenwich Chase is going to be pulled back here. I'm going to use this as a supervisor's truck during the storms. Mm -hmm. Keep this plow, this lot plowed and a few of the small alleys to front of the squad building while these other trucks are out in the Greenwich Chase handling that. Uh, just the plowing and the salting uh, that way there. So so really, we've still been playing down one pickup truck. We've added the tap with DPW in the summertime has gained all the mowing, the school mowing. I'm using the fire chief vehicle five, five days a week doing DPW work for the town. So there's there's not enough vehicles here unless I drive a big truck around, mm -hmm. which is inconvenient at times. Okay. So, uh, when's the delivery date on these? Delivery here here's this is I I stepped in something yeah. here with this. The trucks are ready to be built. They're 2022s. They're scheduled to be built in the beginning of November. Delivered to the upfit company by early to mid December. We could have these by January. Wow. This, wow. Where where <laughs> found found these trucks. Somebody had them ordered. He was just going to use them stock. But what's happened here with the vehicle deal is people are jumping like crazy after these vehicles. I just got an email this uh, today that Ford suspended pre-order for these size trucks for another week and it might go into November. They're not taking orders on these trucks wow. for 2023. The police cars in Tahoe's, I get email from this other outfit. They're selling them. And if you don't have a PO with the X amount of time, they're giving it to the next town. 
and you're buying them as they have them. There's no fit in your fit in your need, right. and there's no municipal discount from here on until the near future. They're saying through 2023, the municipalities used to get big discounts from the automakers. You're we're buying them the same price that us as consumers are buying these vehicles. Anybody okay. else? Roll call. Mayor Bersany? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kendrick? Yes. Ms. McDermott? Yes. Well, the promotion to introduce to ordinance number 102-109-2022, Savage the Environmental Commission and create the Environmental Committee. That's just one of we missed uh, when we did all the commissions <laughs> committees a couple of years ago. We kept hoping that they would get more membership, but they haven't. So it's time to make them a committee and reduce some of the responsibilities they had in the commission. So. Okay, I'll make the motion. I'll second. Anybody have any questions, comments? Roll call. Mayor Bersany? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kenya? Yes. Ms. McDermott? Yes. School resource officer. <clears throat> Uh, I received notification that we did not get the uh, the latest grant that I applied for. Um, unfortunately, there was no small town that really got it. It was all big cities because that, that grant actually went across the, uh, the U.S. So cities like Chicago, um, New York, uh, large cities like that um, received that grant. And so nothing there. Uh, so I continue to work on um, readjusting my current grant so I can uh, have uh, school resource officers this year uh, covered, but uh, in the future, something uh, like uh, look into something else. Okay. Maybe we'll just stay there. Police vehicle replacement person, that's the one that if anybody doesn't know we one of our vehicles was ran, uh, somebody ran into a lot of running radar and uh, is it demolished or not in the end of the day? It's total, yes. Uh, and, and Chief, I got a question on that because I know that Lisa's, we've talked just bits and pieces, and that obviously the insurance is going to cover the, well, I'm hoping the whole cost of the replacement vehicle, uh, but but not not even touching the extras that go along with having a police vehicle. Here, give me, I'm looking up the email right now. So the latest correspondence that uh, Lisa had with the insurance was for us to include the equipment and whatnot. Because uh, initially what they gave us was here's the value of the vehicle and it didn't include the cost of putting that stuff in. Right. But uh, she had spoken to them. They said, no, include that. So okay. I'm gathering those numbers together. Um, we took all the equipment out of that vehicle, hoping that we can uh, just put it into a, a new if we, if we replace it with a Tahoe, if we replace the vehicle with something different, then we're going to have to, we would have to get a new light bar and certain things that would not fit the cage and, and whatnot, which, you know, that, that could get expensive. Um, well, ideally, but, if we get the funds for it, 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 we'll at least have some money to put towards it, correct? Definitely a majority of them, yes. Right, right. Uh, what insurance wants to pay us for the uh, totaling of the vehicle a little bit confusing um but i believe it's well as low as forty one thousand. which when we purchased that vehicle that's about what we paid for it uh, a couple of years ago uh so that would be the uh the correct cost of the vehicle now if they're going to pay us for the install hopefully they will um right now i'm at Approximately $3,800 to install, reinstall everything except the lighting. Uh, so that's installing the uh, the radio in the car, the license plate reader, the camera system, the e ticketing, and the tablet in the yeah, sure. sure. Okay. So the only thing I yeah I have to find out for is the uh, price of installing the light bar in that car. Okay. Because I thought. It uh, to be honest, I mean, the, he totaled the car, so the equipment in it's no good. So that should be not total, but <laughs> there should be a cost associated with fitting a new police car. I, and that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. I know that doesn't always work that way, 
It doesn't. It sounds like though. When I well, I called them back and I kind of put our case with that, and they said that they'll entertain any receipts that the chief can pull together. And and, so and that's our insurance. Our insurance company's job is to go battle with the other insurance company to correct. get that money. Correct. Correct. All right. So that's what we're paying them for. So hopefully they'll get the job. As done. we heard, our insurance company had to make notification to his insurance company. Right. <laughs> so well, they're again, hoping that there's some. You know, How soon can you have that police car back on the road, though, uh, uh, ordering it wise? Or do we so, got to wait for the, the monies to be settled? Or I, That's my question. Is uh, Should we be waiting for the monies to come from insurance? Uh, the vehicle cannot, uh, I can't get any Tahoes until possibly January. And I called the dealership and I asked them, can you put one aside for me in, in, in the, uh, the cover that we have? And he said he would. Um, but you know, that's what they're telling me. Uh, that could always change. Can we do that, Mike? Without no, wait. Well, where are we gonna get the fuck? <laughs> well, the question they don't need to be paid till, till you receive the vehicle, which would be January. However, if I send them a letter saying, Yes, we want this vehicle, hopefully, insurance will pay us by that time. I'm actually, um, kind of surprised unless they're just waiting for me to get the total of the equipment installed that they haven't paid us for the tolling of the vehicle. Because the last time we yeah. had a vehicle that was hit, we got paid pretty quick. They are usually fast. Okay. They still I, can pay you but, and keep the claim open. So you can get some, I'm sure you can get some money. Yeah, you just so want to make sure that the check doesn't say in full and final. Right, yeah, as right. long as the check right. doesn't say full and final settlement. Right. So, right. but, you know, anything we commit to, we want to put subject to the certification of availability of funds from the CFO. So as long as we have a qualification in there, you know. But it, you have something? Yeah. Couldn't we couldn't you do an emergency because of the vehicle? And with the knowledge of and I'm just thinking back what how we got some of the equipment when the building burned down back there. Yeah. To get it in. That was all done under an emergency situation. And that's what John Mooney then said. And then you just allocate that. Yeah. That short one there. Go through the emergency, but... Yeah, well, uh, if it is if uh, having trouble getting cars and stuff. Yeah. That's the only problem is uh, we're running into now, right as soon as that vehicle, uh, right before it got hit, that was like right when I had the fleet all put on the road, finally everything was good, and all of a sudden that goes out. So now our two SUVs that we bought in 2017 are. You know, getting four officers driving in them instead of two officers. Now the miles is going up on them, right. and uh, it's just it's a constant uh, yeah. battle you get faced with the uh, with the cars. So I would work on trying to get a partial payment from them. If they kind of agreed right now to forty one thousand, say, can you send us a partial and make sure it says partial payment towards claim number or whatever. That if they, yeah, if they send us that, then I can at least buy the the SUV that covers the cost of the SUV. Yeah. Um, and all this ancillary or actually, stuff. I'm sorry, uh, that's that's what we paid for the SUV back then. Um, the quote of what they gave us doing this year is here comes the not what it was worth, but this uh, about 45,000. Yeah. 500 of that. Oh, that's four, so that's not it's about, about 4,000 uh, 4, less than you know, we have. So mm. oh, I'm surprised it's not actually more than that. Uh, I was going to say, you get a new Tahoe, 45,000? Mm -hmm. That's what they quote me. Oh, so. well, that's a deal. <laughs> so do we need to take any action tonight to do anything here? Max, or if he gets the insurance money, you if he gets the insurance money, you can just go get the car, right? Well, um, it's still four thousand short, so about. You can find that. Yeah, but you find it. Yeah, in the budget. <laughs> yes, Shannon. Out. Well, we don't have. Well, uh, we were uh, less overtime oh. last month than we were the previous year. So. <laughs> I will save um, money there. No more paper. <laughs> I Is will. Is it used uh, at the park for any reason? <laughs> I got open space money. <laughs> I will reach out to John Moon. Right. I will. We'll I'll figure it out. We will okay. figure it out. Thanks. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Uh, I love that new facility update. Joe or Paul, sure. uh, Joe's probably got them more. 
in depth. Real, real quick, I did forward the uh, minute meetings with my report from uh, our 50% meeting. Uh, our 20, 75th, 75% completion meeting is next Tuesday. Uh, we have a tentative project schedule out to bid for January 2023. Uh, bids due back February 2023. Town to review to review it March uh, 2023. Groundbreaking April 2023 and construction for 10 months after that. Um, really, and then also the, the um, plans have to go down to the state code enforcement for their review. Uh, today, Tom Pugsley picked up the checks and the applications for the uh, county planning board and the Delaware Valley Soil Conservation uh, Permit. So that's all being submitted up to the county offices this week. Uh, the fire department cut the checks for that application fee. Uh, Elizabethtown Gas, uh, I, I believe their applications into the county to run natural gas through the to the building. Electric service has paperwork has been completed. Soil, the uh, rest of the soil borings are done. Um, about the only other thing is we, Lisa, the chief and I have received emails in reference to flooring and wall color or wall interior wall materials. And he also sent me an email with outside, uh, I guess it's a, it's a book with, we got like a outside I want to call it barrier wall so far with block design and stuff. And the only thing I was thinking with that is with the colors and stuff, and I guess this would be committee for, uh, review, is since we already started Thomas Stork Park out with that color scheme with a green roof and that block facade that's halfway up mm -hmm. the concession stand in that color, do we want to make that complex all blend in and look that way? in those colors. That's something to be considered. They see it a lot now, and the one that catches my eye is the Shrin, Shrin thing going up through Palmer there. You see all their buildings, they're all the same brick and block design, and it looks like a big municipal facility. And Mike might be able to chime in, that might be the thing that people are doing for facilities like this. But that's yeah, no, a consideration that's, that's, that that makes a lot of sense. So, so we took that into consideration when we built the snack stand to make it look rural country. Right. Correct. So and then we used the same colors for the pavilions yeah. and for the and for that building, uh, the storage building yeah. there. Uh, let me just make sure I got it's everything a else. I a couple <laughs> notes here. Terrible. It's got a better way. Oh, get a bit of painter. And the final discussion was um, which way the township was going to do go when this building was starting to be built. Uh, consider a clerk of the works or something like that to keep an eye on on that construction on the town's behalf. These are discussions that we need to have yeah. from there. You mean like a project manager? Project yeah. manager and stuff like that. Clerk of the works. That's it. Okay. Thanks. Any sure. questions for me? Do, do, you, do, you, no, do, do you need to go or we to the planning board, or or that part is, is that it? I don't do, do they need to go to the planning board? No, they normally would not, but right. if it's a capital expenditure, they may just have to go for courtesy. They don't file it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah precisely. Yeah. Courtesy review, obviously. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. There's nothing they could do. It's you go there and say, This is what we're doing. We're yeah. the town. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they could say, We don't like it. And it's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good to the chase. That's going to happen after we get the 100% of the plans done. Yeah. So maybe December, Joe, we schedule something with the uh, land use board. I think so. Nope. Oh, okay. Of course, okay. Yeah, no, that's all. Well, yeah. I mean, this the, this is not a uh, full blown application, <laughs> yeah. obviously. Um, okay. Well, playground equipment. Playground equipment. Okay. There's a quote in your packet from Ben Schaefer. We're adding more swings and two different types of spinners. And uh, the grand total for the uh, swing was fifty six thousand nine fourteen, and another four almost forty three hundred for the mulch. And I believe that that is all the installation and everything. Nothing. I don't think the DPW has to get involved. So, uh, 
the open space committee is recommending this quote. So and there's money in the open space fund for it. Plenty of money in the open space. I'm going to make a motion to accept Ben Schaefer's bid at fifty-six thousand nine fourteen seventy-five cents, and then an, an additional four thousand two hundred ninety-eight dollars and fifty-eight cents for the playground surfacing. Anybody want a second? I'll second. Any questions, comments, discussion? Mm -hmm. Roll call. Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kinnick? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. yes. Okay. Safe schools, roofs, did you already discuss that pretty much already? Or? Well, I think so. I put yeah. the appraisal quotes back in here, Bob, for Frank Pinto's request. Um, if if you guys wanted to make oh. a decision on who to hire to do the appraisal work. Oh, yeah, I think there were two in there, and there was a recommendation yeah. from uh, oh, the land, appraisal. He oh, recommended yeah. landmark appraisal, though. Is that who we um, The uh, Here's a, a Joshua. He's recommending uh, Josh Makoff. Yeah. yeah. Which I have left. Like well, there's yeah, they're deep in your packet, Bob. Okay. Um, there's a lot here. The two here. Oh, oh, Lisa, there's two of them here. Uh, yep. You go, uh, you go one, both for the one. same. Okay. Yeah. I don't, this is the kind of one is yeah. the the landmark, and the other is uh, Josh Makoff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. But they they they're appraisers for the same project. The Correct. Yeah. Okay. I asked Frank to get more than one quote. Okay. Well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so does anybody want to make a motion here on any of this? So, um, let's see. That's going to come out of open space. Oh, oh yeah, open space, right? Yeah. I guess the question is, do you have the money for it? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And you, 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 you already discussed that wrong. We already, they already said they want to do this. They want to do it, yeah. Okay, so, right. I guess it, does anybody want to make a motion about it? For uh, what's his name? I don't have that. Jason. Uh, uh, it's Josh. Josh Makoff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for twenty five hundred. Make a motion. You I'll make, make it. I'll second that. Any questions, comments? Roll call. Mayor Barsini. Yes. Mr. Beam. Yes. Mr. Kenner. Yes. Mr. McDermott. Yes. Are we going to introduce this in <laughs> one of two twenty nineteen, or is this just what they're recommending? Open space. Um, I think Brian yeah, had mentioned months ago. They just want to delete the section on powers. Okay. Um, that's their recommendation, and if we don't have to take action on this tonight, they've been talking about it for a year. But I got them pinned down on the exact change, and thought I would include it. Okay, yeah, we can save all that. Now. But yeah, it's. Okay. Uh, 8K, we took off because I guess Dominic didn't sell his house yet. He's still a resident and we agreed to stay on until we find a repayment. Uh, no, I think I think we're going to go. Where is Frank? No, unless I'm going to ask something different. Well, <laughs> I was going to say there is a letter of res. His email was that he is still available. He's still okay. All right, I'm going to leave that alone. Then. That was the okay. latest. Okay, I'm looking for a motion to accept the resignation of Philip Epps as our uh, zoning officer. I'll make that motion. Second. I, I, uh, I do just like to say with regrets. I only with met him once or twice. Really nice guy. Like a nice guy. Good yeah. guy. Seems to have a lot of action in the short time that he was here. And I don't regret losing him. So, whatever that. Other than that, roll call. Mayor Barcelona. You're going to make sure it says with regret. Right? I got it down. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Ms. McDermott? Yes. yes. Holiday party. Because we are discussing whether we're going to have a holiday party for your employees this year. Uh, we we'll had it. Well, I didn't go last year, but I certainly but uh, I guess we probably had it uh, Spain in again. Yeah, good time. Good food. You know? uh, it was excellent. Okay. And uh, I think Lisa said you just have money for it. <laughs> so we're in the same boat we were last year. We have the thousand dollars remaining in the uh, celebrations line, and we have the balance of um, the funds we were able to raise with uh, community day ads versus what we spent. So 
I think all total in those two lines, we have about 1,600. So do you think we should, you know. Can we talk about that in closed session? Or? I don't know if that falls under closed session. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to think of it. Yeah. Uh, well, what did it cost last year? You're saying you got sixteen hundred dollars this year. Yeah, we what did had, it cost last year? This is not bad. We had a lot of extra people last year, Paul. <laughs> um, more than expected. We had seventy people show up last year. Right. And some several did not RSVP. So one thing I wanted to suggest is that this year we actually like give a ticket. Like if you're going to go, you have to actually have a ticket to get in. Um, that's, a good idea. that's never been a problem in my tenure, but I think we had six people come unannounced and they had to scurry and kind of add seats and stuff and whatever. Anyway, so we had 70 last year. The year before we didn't have it. In 19, we had 54 people. So some of the discussion has been, you know, and, and we discussed it all those years ago by inviting, you know, all the uh, all the volunteers from all the groups, it could be a huge number. You know, we kind of never know um, because we've always allowed spouses, significant others. So it's always kind of come up, you guys always discuss whether or not you want to have them pay for a spouse or not, or those are the options. But to your point, last year, it was 70 people at, you know, it was a little over $3,000. So. And then we asked people to pay um, they pay for their liquid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is just their meal. Yeah. 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 Um, so I don't know which type of person money for people that can pay. Yeah. So that may that So do we just want them to put a, a say twenty dollars ahead? I mean, or, I think something like that. Yeah, I would say just whoever's going to attend. You know, it's. I, I mean, whatever you guys want to do, but you know, that is a way to hand them a ticket. You know. Yeah. You submit a form and get your tickets, whatever you guys think. I, I'll do whatever you want, but yeah, what was your uh, yeah, man, you have employees, yeah, but they object to paying twenty dollars a head to go to a holiday party. I don't know, I don't know, I'm really gonna ask them so. <laughs> well, but if there's a husband and wife, you're talking forty dollars, right? A couple, now what they do, I, I mean, for some of our employees, that's steep, right? I mean, no, you're right. You know, I, I, I'd be rather look at maybe employees for free and just charge for the spouse, maybe. I don't know. I, I was mean, just going to say that's what I mean, doing now. Some of our salaries yeah. in some positions are low. Yeah. But no, I, I'm fine. Yeah. What's that? Charge for the spouse? Yeah. If you want to bring a significant other with yeah. the spouse. Yeah. So what was it last year? $3,000? It was yeah. a little over, I think, 3200 3270 So you're talking. Mm -hmm. That was high though. I don't think we've ever had that many. That was a it was a big year. That's well, fifty dollars ahead. I hate to say it this way, but if you put the twenty dollars on, it may deter some people from it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably will. I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm willing to go with the spouse. I, I don't really want to do it to the employees. Like I said, but I mean, even some of the volunteers, I don't, I don't know their financial circumstances, yeah. but. The argument can be why have it at all? What's the financial circumstances of the taxpayers? I get, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm maybe I'm overthinking now. No, I think you're right. Mike, what do other towns do? <laughs> Sorry, they have the same debate you're having. Yeah, really. I mean, to be honest, it's same fever. We don't even have one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, wow. Well, it's many. Uh, it's a sore to, subject. The other, the, the other <laughs> argument back to we have really some low salaries with being something like to do. <laughs> well, <laughs> that and, and and I know that I think last year it was really opened up to a, a a lot more volunteers than normally. We use the same list. Same list. I know, just think more. There was yeah. like this year we have people asking team. about it. So well, I I'm going to make a motion and charge twenty dollars for. The guest or significant other spouse, however you want to word it, and we'll see how it goes. And it's it's an issue. I guess we'll have to eat it this year, then we'll have to decide next year how we handle this. I think that's going to work out. I think yeah. that's a good idea. Okay. I need a second. Any other questions or comments? So it's twenty dollars for guest. Guest. Okay. 
no. hopefully that's what we have it in Spain and it's barely half of it, right? Spain's like forty some odd dollars yeah, it's, it's forty yeah. fifty dollars ahead. But so, still it's something. No, it's something no, right, right, right. No, right. Yeah, so but then we're not still gonna ask for fifteen dollars no, alcohol. They're just gonna have to do it on the yeah. Yeah, yeah, do yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Okay. Open bar less liability on this right. on us. Um, <laughs> I get all in favor of that. Aye. 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 Any nays? Okay. So we're gonna stick to uh December night. Yeah. Do we have to take action on Charles Grubb, doctor? Yeah, we're gonna get to that. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Was he uh, on here? Uh, he though. Yeah, he's next. He's, uh, oh, okay. He, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> Fire hydrants. Have any updates um, on that, Mike? No response yet. You know, we had sent a letter saying we weren't going to pay them until they fixed the fire hydrants. Then they asked for a list. So Joe gave me the list with all the ones that were inoperable. We sent it to them, said we still weren't going to pay them until the hydrants were operable. That was August 26th, I think we sent that letter. So we have not had a response. Yeah. With that being said, Joe, was the one uh, on Mr. Baylor's front yard, was that one working? Mr. Baylor? Uh, uh, the nursery up here on North Main. Should be. I don't. I got no report. Well, the only reason I say they were here the other day, dug it up, put in another one. They, they must have found that on their flushing program. They've done probably a half a dozen throughout the town. They don't. They don't forewarn me. They don't tell you. Okay. All right. I was just curious door. if that was on your list as well. Nope. That was. No. So, all right. So they're finding ones that are on their list, with no regard to the ones that are. Well, that up there is a water flow problem. That's not fixing the fire either. So Got it. getting the water so we look like it. We think the valves gave them down. They got to find it. So, okay. Joe, can you test that to make sure that we're getting the proper flow? And if not, I can, I can retest it to see if yeah, it's still the same it. or if it's been updated. Why should we pay for it if it's not going to meet your needs? What was that? Why should we pay for it if it doesn't meet? Oh, no, we should. We should have. Yeah. Paid. So it, didn't, it didn't meet our requirements. You pay a lot of money for fire hydrants. It's so it's great. Great, 100 grand a year. Oh, well, it's 128 grand a year. Okay. It's a lot of money for fire hydrants. They don't work. I see y'all looking. But it's one of the little nuances that need to be paid by the taxpayers. That's collectively or individually. Collectively, that's all. That's also for the water lines delivering the water to the public. So they used to break it down. Now they just call fire hydrants and make the fire department look like the bad guys. It <laughs> used to be a seven-digit point zero five, what you call cents per linear foot, and we only paid one hundred and twenty-six dollars a fire hydrant. They just put it all together to come up with the same thing. Shannon knows that in Peeper. I'm sure their their bills probably yeah. triple ours. Mm -hmm. Okay, Luke Township doctor. I see Doctor Grubb finally retired, huh? <laughs> yeah. He moved. He moved with he another moved. organization in Pennsylvania. Yeah, he's then I think, he then I think he's yeah. walking. Yeah. yeah, he moved. He moved to a group in yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, he, let me put it this way: he did my pre-employment. Physical when I first became a cop in 1977. Or well, I went to work with Warren County back in 1986 and he did my pre Wow. Uh, he, he was uh he's a great I went to him for years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So enjoy your time of retirement. Yeah. So uh, how are we? Who are we replacing him with? We have to make. Uh, uh, we have to make. Are we uh, taking his recommendation, or is there somebody local? Why you know, yeah. we have to make him drive all the way. Was that Pequest doctor local? No, that's yeah. his recommendation. And where are they from? Well, I mean, uh, Greenwich Street, Street, Dollar. Oh yeah, that's could you use uh, the doctor of my shop right here? Doctor. Well, the doctor's in. We could certainly do that. We've gone there. Um, Village Medical is right there too. Yeah, you've got to get from the doctors. Yeah. yeah. Should we solicit bids for the service or pricing? Well, I, I don't even actually need bids for as a professional. Yeah, but good to ask with quotes. for the service. Yeah. Yeah. Where does Workman's Comp send them? The doctor. 
Yeah. Unfortunately, well, yeah, that's why I was questioning. Yeah, you can yeah. say that. Yeah, you know, I'm sharing the same no. thought. Well, I mean, well, then we're going to have a, every time we have, we want to send our person somewhere, then we have to worry about what it's going to conflict with workers' comp. Yeah. Let's affiliate with St. Luke's or Philly you got Atlantic um, Healthcare now yeah. up on uh, the Texas Medical Board. Let's see if they're accepted and see what we have to do to it. Because I, I know my workman's comp policy for my employees, uh, Village Medical was on the list of approved workman's comp doctors. Yeah. Is there Is someone that we're going to use if something happens tomorrow or what have you? Because Dr. Grubb is done taking patients, so we don't have anybody at all. Now that sounds like an emergency. And I think they'd go to where we get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I would work on like uh so, well, I was gonna say at this stage of the game, you've got the um the walk-in at right, St. Louis surgery, surgery. Yeah, a different right. set of doctors, but yeah, yeah. there's yeah. a walk-in right yeah, there. The one okay. Yeah, the yeah, okay. walk in right next to Bill's mic. Right next to it, right. Okay. But yeah, I, I would say in, in the event of an emergency. Okay. Shannon, what's people are doing? Unfortunately, we're using the doctor. Oh, you said that for that, everything. I believe so because that's who Workman's Comp uses, so that's who they put in. Gotcha. As so that would be a conflict. I mean, have the doctor and this work with, and sooner or later it's got to conflict somebody. What do you think? Since one of my partners represents Philip Turk, I'd rather not answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, in an emergency situation, the care now place, and maybe we can find out. Yeah. yeah. Make a couple phone calls from my dad. It's a good attorney. It's very smart. <laughs> okay. Lisa, can you make a call tomorrow? We're going to. Okay. Municipal elections. Who has that on this way? Oh. At that time of year, we have to redo our. Uh, it's actually more special than the normal nonsense. This one, <laughs> they need my signature on this because it shows everyone else is getting money. But as part of the alliance, I have to sign off on it as well so that they can get their funding. So because, we do this every year around this time. Well, it. normally it's a it's it's for the whole amount for the for our yeah. uh, alliance, and then but now this is special. This is showing that they're giving everybody but us money, and I have to sign off. Well, I thought yeah, I was going to say I saw the list in here. Are, are we are part we, of the South Warren? Yeah, this is part yeah. of yeah. North Warren and South Warren, so they group us in with right. um, Shula Lopez. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. People are going. Does Pete? Do we? Are Pohat, Lopat, and us split that evenly? Not, and it's not a significant amount of money, regardless. But no. <laughs> yeah, it's like twenty three hundred or something. Yeah, something. But I have to do the same thing in Bloomsbury, and they've never once run a program at Bloomsbury School, so. <laughs> In any case, if you guys can just authorize that I sign it, I'll execute it and then they can. I'll make a motion to authorize the township clerk administrator to sign the uh, agreement with the municipal alliance. Oh, second. Any other questions, comments? Roll call. Mr. Barsley? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kinnick? Yes. Ms. McDermott? Yes. Correspondence. Anything we need to go over? Um, we have uh, uh, Jean Paul. We got to go to the tax assessor. I think Bob's got that on okay. his. Uh, yes, well, I meant to have a new business paper. So. Okay. Um, we need a new laptop for the tax assessor. So I'm looking for a motion to purchase and set up a new laptop for the tax assessor for a cost not to exceed $2,900. Anybody want to make the motion? I'll make the motion. I'll second it. Any other comments or questions? I, I'd like to know what the configuration. I mean, that's 25% of the cost of the computer. You know, what is he configuring? That's what I like to know. So can you have him call me? He will, I can. Okay. He'll be setting it up so that it works with your software that runs, you know, through here. And also um, our printers, all of that, like the networking, and then getting it also protected for, you know, the spyware and antivirus and all that stuff. So, but yes, I'll have him call you. Okay. Okay. What do we need to approve for the best practices inventory? Oh, we got to take a. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We're up on the last one here. Yeah. 
Uh, Mayor Grossman? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McDermott? No. Best practices, uh, this is an annual report. We just need you guys to authorize that Shannon and I executed and submitted. Oh, okay. We did very yeah, well. As you can see, we got 32 yeses mm -hmm. and we lose no funding. <laughs> we'll go back. Yeah. So. Okay. We go back to Lillian uh, just brought up a good point. That computer was for, I thought it was for the tax assessor, for the land use, uh, it's secretary. The land use secretary. It's a typo. No. Oh. Um, On his original estimate, it's a it's a typo. Um, it is for Jen. Okay, so uh, Jen's laptop now comes apart into two pieces, which is not good. So <laughs> it's for Jen. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I'll make a motion that we authorize the clerk, administrator, CFO to execute the best practice inventory. Everyone, second. second. I'll second. I didn't get a chance to really look at that, but I guess uh, kudos to everybody, right? We've had a good. Uh... <laughs> We're doing well. We even got historic yeah. upload all their meeting minutes to the website. So there you go. <laughs> good. Okay. The uh, we need to vote. We need to talk. Oh yeah, we need to vote, right? Uh, Mayor Barsley. Yes. Mr. Bean. Yes. Mr. Kenneth. Yes. Mr. Yes. The next two hirings. Uh, well, let's go with the authorize the uh, clerk administrator to send a letter. Go off to the full tours for the position of part time finance officer assistant. Do we want to talk about that? Uh, if you guys, if you read in my report, we, we interviewed um, seven, we received eight applications, which was pretty impressive. Uh, a lot of really nice um, people that we met. Unfortunately, or fortunately, one has experience uh, specifically with the software that we're using, which is MSI, and also with tax and sewer uh, uploading purchase orders, all of those things. So she was clearly the most qualified. Uh, no one else had any of those uh, municipal experiences. This is assistant for Shane? Correct. And that position, many, assistant has been vacant for- How many hours a week? 12 to 15. 12 to 15. 21, 22 an hour. And that's uh, the salary per our resolution, which Susan you know, was previously getting. So we're not okay. making any changes to the resolution. Anybody have any questions? I'll make a motion that we authorize the offer. Is that? I'll second. Anybody else? Anything? Roll call. Mayor Varsity? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Ms. McDermott? Yes. And let's talk about the part time zoning and code enforcement officer. Well, we only had two applicants to come in. Three, technically. Three, yeah. well, technically, but we interviewed two of them. Uh, both were, were qualified. There was no issue with either one, but uh, we had some outside recommendations that really put one of the candidates above the other. Um, we do have to change. To, it would have been to accommodate either or. We have to change our night from Tuesday to a Monday, which, again, it's not a significant issue. Um, but Jeffrey, and I don't have it in front of me. I don't know what his last name was, but um, he, he uh, again, both were super qualified. Um, but Jeffrey had some uh, personal recommendations from other people. Uh, John Drill uh, worked with Amy Fleming down in, in uh, Raritan, Raritan and stuff. Uh, so that kind of gave him a couple of steps up at the stage. Where, right where's he from? How uh, far will he be traveling? Well, ha way less than uh, what he was. I believe he lives Cal in Calapon. Okay. So it's half the, the distance, <laughs> you know, so right. Um, and but he was willing to do everything that Philip was doing, everything we asked, the hours and all that good kind of stuff was the same. So and he's well familiar with if need be taking folks to, to court and such. So uh he was qualified to do it. He's been doing it for a while. He's actually a full time zoning planner down in uh, uh Raritan, you know. So yeah, he's got his planning certificate and everything. Planning certificate also, which doesn't really mean much to the zoning, but uh, so he's he's well qualified. We like to. Are you making a motion? I am making a motion to hire. I will Jeff second Macarella. Jeff Macarella. Back of Macarella. The the Macarella. I'll say. Oh, I, I I thought I did, but that's okay. The only question, Joe, is that not going to be a conflict? Is you have meetings here on some Monday nights? I know. 
No, he has his own office. Okay. The door closes. It's only the first Monday of the month that we're at. Roll call. Mayor Barson? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Ms. McDermott? I'm going to abstain because I personally work with Jim and Melvin. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, move public comment up because we're going to go into executive session after that. So I'll make a motion to open public comment. I make a motion on open public comment. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone from the public wishes to come up? Three minute limit and uh, make your statements. Good Mayor. Um, in fact, we try to get an update on what was going on with the uh, potential lawsuit against the affordable housing. One and two, I sent uh, Lisa a uh, email regarding the association not cooperating. They are responsible for repairing the sidewalks. It's a master deed. And when I call the office, they said that I'm not allowed to call that office because they hired an attorney. So send the attorney a letter. We're trying to work with the attorney for about a year now. Nothing. So I told him if I didn't get a response, I was going to report it to the appropriate authorities. And I believe the township has the authority to sanction them for the bad sidewalks. It's a violation of the American Disability Act. And I believe the township has the power to enforce uh, three code enforcement to either repair them or sanction them. Um, they, they, they're just ignoring them. So that, that's what I'm here for. Okay, thank you. Anyone else wish you to make any statements? Mayor, I had two things I, I forgot. And one, the fire department got notified that the toy train stopping again at the yeah, Warren yeah. Street crossing the first Saturday in December. I, I don't have yeah, remember the date on the top of my head. Um, and yeah. also, uh, from the open space, I attended the open space meeting and discussed the stone parking lot for out in the park with them, and they were all favorable up to, I think it was, what, $2,000 for the stone, <laughs> and the, the funds are there, so I'm going to fit that in to have that parking lot ready to go before the Christmas tree lighting, uh, we Friday, the first Friday of the summer. We'll probably could make a motion to uh, authorize him. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Anybody else? So just because I'm naive, um, the Recreation Association is $56,000 for swing. Uh, open space. Open space. Yes. Yes. Would you clarify how many swings are we getting for $56,000? <clears throat> Okay, you're, we're getting a matching set of swings. Have you been to the park? Yes. So you, there's one section of swings and it's close to the pavilion. So we're going to get a set of those. And equipment is... is, is, is I'm understanding that. Yeah. It's very expensive. <laughs> yes, I had no Anything idea. Anything the government buys is expensive. Right. <laughs> and the, the uh, equipment's got to meet such specifications. I'm sure it does to be safe. But yeah. Yes. Yeah, he just he just has it down uh, for thirty two thousand nine ninety two for a set of swings and two types of spinners. That one spinner can hold up almost thirty kids on the one. So uh, and they're expanding. I don't know how many feet it's going out. So you know off the top of your head how many no, feet I, are I expanding? Think it's like thirty feet because they need eight to ten feet away from the border that they gotta have. Thanks. The border's got to be yeah, so much right, bigger. Right. That's, just that's, that, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that, that's fine. I just yeah. when you said the figure of yeah. fifty six thousand, he could finish one, but we're not. He's not supposed to answer. We, yeah, we can't have a conversation. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're done yes. then. Thank you. I should know better. Okay. Thank okay. you. Anyone else? I'll make a motion to close public comment. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So yes. Yeah, so we have. The swings at, at 32, let's say 33,000, and then installation is 16.5. So, uh, and it's on the state co op. So, I don't think you and I, if we bought it for our own backyards, it'd be a lot cheaper. Yeah. It's 
why toilet seats cost thirty thousand dollars. You know, a bolt. <laughs> you know. So. so then I think we need to make a motion to authorize Joe to spend up to two thousand for the parking lot expansion over at the downtown park. If you want to make that motion, I'll make that motion. Any, okay. sense? Any questions, comments? Roll call. Mayor Bersmi? Yes. Mr. Dean? Yes. Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. Mr. Ortiz, one question. I had no idea what you're talking about with the lawsuit with affordable housing. I don't believe we have any with affordable housing, so I can't give you an update on it. And two, the other one is I guess you're making a complaint, so if you we'll get a new zoning officer. Well, we can certainly look at it, but uh, attorney drill currently has the bylaws mm -hmm. for the condominiums HOA um, and is reviewing it. And at, when he gets done reviewing it, I think we'll have some more detailed we'll answers. what our authority is. is and isn't correct. That's on the sidewalk. Well, on the entire community. Well, there should be side. two master, there should be a master deed for Greenwich Chase. Which should probably cover all the open grounds, and then the condo association, I believe, is just for your buildings, right? And you know, and but so both he should have two in. things to look at. You know, they're, they're both tied in. Yeah, there's two for right. for the the affordable section of Greenwich Chase, the Revere Road, whatever you want to call. Um, there's two HOAs that they have. Right. They're right. The overall development and the site specific. So yeah. the master one covers the sidewalk. I don't know, to be honest. First, well, let's but, just say from a zoning principle, if there's a sidewalk issue, it is the homeowner's responsibility to deal with a sidewalk, not the town's. <laughs> the bylaws it says well, well, we, don't again, involved, we, we don't get involved in bylaws. We, we, we have no authority to say what you're saying. We're examining your bylaws right yeah. now, and we'll have a better answer from the town's point of view. If there was a zoning violation, it's up to the homeowner to fix the sidewalk. Right. So in my case, it, in the bylaws, it's the association. Right. So what, what he's saying is basically, in the end, you may not get the citation, then you'd have to sue your homeowners association to get your money. You see. So like, that's what he's trying to say, right? right. Yeah. 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 We can't legally, we don't, we're not a party to those bylaws. That's a contract between you and the association. So you would be the per and, and we're not trying to scrape it off on you. It's just that's the law. Like you would have to sue the association to get them to do that. And I'm looking at our sidewalk ordinance now. I'm not so sure because it says sidewalks or highways of the township. So your sidewalks, because they're maintained by the I'm assuming they're maintained by the association. I guess we'll find out. I don't know that the town has jurisdiction to enforce this in there because they're not our sidewalks and they're not our, you know. So I think after John so does his review, we'll be right. able to tell you if we there's can lots of it. unanswered questions yet, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. So maybe I miss, I miss, maybe I did, did not didn't introduce myself correctly with the uh, investigation regarding the uh, state when they sold me the unit. They knew it was defective and they sold it to me anyway. They violated that contract. I wanted to see where we're at with that. We don't have anything. No. Well, from the last time I was here, you guys sent them a letter requesting information. We were waiting to hear from them. Well, if we did get correspondence from them. Didn't they send us a copy well, of the contract? Well, again, a, attorney drill is yeah, yeah, yeah. Attorney drill is reviewing. Right. So they they're okay, so they're reviewing, they're still reviewing both issues. Who's your attorney? I don't have one. You're going to have to get one, I think, because we can't act as your attorney. I understand that. I think I we explained that last one. Yeah, so, I did. I mean, if you're waiting for our answers all the time, the wheels of government move slowly. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all. Um, yeah, so I think the committee's saying, look, we don't have any privity of contract. We can't sue them on the homeowner's behalf. Mr. Drill, the other, the land use board attorney is checking the bylaws, which I'm sure he probably weren't easy for him to get from them. But in any event, he'll take a look at it and see if there's anything the township can do. But I'm just going to tell you, I haven't looked at him, but there's not a lot that hopefully he'll find some smoking gun in there. But there's not a lot the town can do to force the homeowners association to do anything because you're the one that has the contractual relationship with them, not us. So I know that's not what you want to hear, but. You know, they're at least having Mr. Drill check the bylaws to see if there's anything they can do. Thank you. 
Well, we, we'll get you the answer. I mean, we'll give you the answer when he's done. When we get it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Okay. Looking for a motion to go into executive session to discuss personnel, police. Uh, what is the officer who got injured in that accident? Uh, a new hire, we have a vacancy in the police department, so we're going to discuss the uh, new hire and the vacation buyback, police contract, and the township planner. Action may be taken on any of these items afterwards, but uh, I don't know how long we're going to be, but I'm hoping. I'll make a motion we come out of the executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mike? Yes, we moved from executive session at 9.13 p.m. where we discussed a number of matters, uh, personnel matters dealing uh, with the police department, a particular officer, a new hire and vacation buyback, and then police contracts and contract with the town planner. No official action was taken. Conferences minutes will be available at such time as the committee determines there is no harm to the public interest. I'll make a motion that we adopt resolution 8722 to approve the amended changes to the tattoo policy in the police manual. Anybody want a second? Second. Any other questions or comments? Roll call. Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Pendrick? Yes. Mr. Yes. I'm looking for a motion to buy back vacation time from the employee uh, as was discussed in the uh, executive session. I'll make the motion. Second. Any questions? Roll call. Mayor Bursley? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kendrick? Yes. Ms. McDermott? Yes. I'll make a motion that we authorize the Chief of Police to make an offer to the candidate discussing executive session to be hired as a police officer uh, at the uh, rate of pay and time frame as discussed in executive session. I'll make that motion. I made second. that motion. Oh, oh I made oh, you a second. Oh, second. 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 Effective okay. November 2nd, do you have to put that date in? Or yeah, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I said, okay. as discussed, it thank you. Okay, so uh, roll call, Mayor Bursley, yes, Mr. Beam, yes, Mr. Kennedy, yes, Mr. McDermott, yes. Anyone have anything else? No, nope. great, thanks everyone. Looking for a motion to adjourn. Make that motion, second. second. All in favor, aye. aye. Good night, Paul. I meant to ask, good night, uh, thank you. Good night, thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.